So please make sure you're here. 5:45 this Wednesday. Also, the Valentine's Bank will be coming up February the 10th at 5 o'clock. Individual tickets are eight dollars. I know uh, the bulletin said seven, but they are eight dollars, and that's eight dollars per person. And there's ages. It's for ages 10 and up. So, and you don't have to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. All right. If you're single, you can come and be a part of it. All right. So please stop by the table out there and, and purchase a ticket. Also, this is Ladies' Ministry Registration Month. Please stop by back there at the table. Stephanie will be back there after service to uh, get your registration. It's $5 per lady, so please stop by and do that. I believe that's all the announcements. Let's stand tonight. Hope you come to worship the Lord tonight. Amen. Amen. Let's pray and ask God to have His way. God, we thank You, Lord God, for another opportunity. Lord, just to be able to come into Your house, Lord, and to be in Your presence. God, I pray tonight for this service, God, that your will will be accomplished here tonight. God, I pray, God, that you'd anoint us and help us tonight. God, as we enter into worship, God, close our minds and our hearts to everything else but you. Father, I pray tonight, God, that you would have your way in this service. God, anoint us and use us, God, I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Let's worship the Lord's brother Nate. Comes to lead us to worship. Man, if you were here this morning and heard the message that God put on the heart of our pastor, it was quit standing around. I don't want to say do something, but it was, uh, you were talking about getting into your prayer closet and so on. Entering in, amen. So that's like, uh, that brought to my mind the call to worship. And I don't know if a lot of you have paid attention to the hymnals that most of you have in front of you, but in the, towards the front, there are a lot of calls to worship. And I just want to read a short one. This is Psalms 100. Make a joyful, joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Praise the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. Amen. So call to worship tonight. Don't come and, and, and dare God to do something to you. Amen. We're supposed to be sending up praises to him. Amen. And then what's going to come down? Blessings. Blessings. Let's enter into worship tonight, service. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve, what a mighty God we serve, angels bow before Him, heaven and earth adores Him, what a mighty God we serve, what a mighty God we serve, what a mighty God we serve, angels bow before Earth adores him. What a mighty God we serve. Yes, what a mighty God we serve. And what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. And he will bring you out all right. Yes, he will bring you out all right. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adores him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we That again, church. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adores him. What a mighty God we serve. Angels. 
angels bow, angels bow before him, heaven and earth adores him, what a mighty God we serve. Amen. You've got a hand clap tonight, church. Sometimes we don't get the full picture of who we're serving, the creator of all things. I was thinking this the other day when I was uh, praying about songs. When he formed the planets and the solar systems and flung them out there, he put the earth exactly where it needed to be. If we were just slightly closer to the sun, we'd burn up. He knew where to put us. He knew where, what, where to put everything else so things aren't banging into each other. That's just one of the many things. We can go on and on and on about what he's done. He is a mighty God. Amen. The mighty God. Nothing is too hard for God. And to top that off, we have access to him through his son. Amen. We, Amen. we have access to him. I don't remember the last time I picked up the phone and talked to the Pope. I don't remember the last time I waved at the president. I don't remember the last time I bowed to the queen. But if I do what I'm supposed to do, I can talk to God every day. Yeah. Amen. This song is Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Let's worship tonight, church. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want, tell him what you want right now. If you want salvation, tell him what you want. If you want salvation, tell him what you want. If you want salvation, tell him what you want. Tell him what you want right now. If you want a healing, tell him what you want. If you want a healing, tell him what you want. If you want a healing, tell him what you want. Tell him what you want right now. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. You can call him up. Call him up. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you want right now. You just call him up. Call him up. Tell him what you want. You can call him up. Call him up. Tell him what you want. You can call him up. Call him up. Tell him what you want. You can call him up.
him what you want. Call him up. Call him up. Tell him what you want. 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 persistent. I need to get better at this. You need to be persistent. And we've sung this song before. If you pray and don't get an answer, you pray again. Amen. You call him up, call him up. Now, the only thing that yeah, it says, tell him what you want. I kind of prefer to ask Jesus, but same. I think you know what I'm talking about. We don't command God to do this, command God to do that. But he says, we have not because we what? We ask not. Amen. Call him up. I love that message this morning. Get into your prayer closet and just talk to him. This has been in my mind too, Pastor, and, and the, I hope this doesn't embarrass you because it's meant to be real good. I came here one Saturday morning to put songs in and went into the back room and I heard the pastor's voice. And he wasn't on the phone, but he was talking to the Lord, amen. And he was praying and he was praying and... For reverence, I just stepped out of there and just waited, and I can still hear him praying. And I'm sure you were probably preparing for a sermon, and he was just praying, and he was praying, and he was praying. So if the pastor feels like he has to do that, how much more do we think we need to do that? Amen? Amen. Just pray and ask God for guidance and direction. I love him tonight. And this next song, I always have, whenever Sister Marilyn and I practice, I always have a hard time getting through it. It's kind of a new one, but we've sung it about twice. It's on building a bridge. This morning, Pastor, ta or a few Sundays ago, Brother Rick was, pre or was teaching, and he talked about God has made a plan for us. He had his everything planned out before we were around. And he said, what are we going to say when we stand before him? And the Lord says, all right, did you follow my plan? What's going to be our excuse? This song is on building a bridge. God has made a plan for us. And think about it tonight, church. What are you doing with that plan that he has? Let's sing this song tonight before we have our prayer request. I'm building a bridge. I'm building a bridge across the divide. I'm building it strong. I'm building it wide. God gave me the plan. I'm following through. I'll make it someday. Oh, how about you? I'm building a bridge. God gave me the plan. It's right in this book. I hold in my hand Each page that I read Helps me understand To build on rock And not on sand I'm building a bridge Across the divide I'm, 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 I'm building it strong it someday Oh, how about you? Some people I know just don't understand 
pray tonight. Father, we love you and we thank you. Lord God, for giving us this opportunity. God, that we can come and we can bring our needs before you. God, knowing, God, that you can do anything tonight. God, you have no limits, no boundaries. God, you, God, have hold all power and your power is unlimited tonight. And Father, I pray, God, for each and every hand, God, that's lifted tonight, God, that you would reach down and you would meet that need tonight. Father, you know our needs before we ask. But God, you told us in your word to ask, and we shall receive, Father. I pray right now for each and every hand that was lifted. God, that you would reach down your hand, and you would touch their hands, and let them know, God, that you're with them. And God, that you will not fail them, Father. I pray tonight, God, that you would touch those that are sick. God, those that need a touch in their spiritual bodies. God, I pray that you would raise up their spirits. Raise up their hearts, God. I pray for those that need a job tonight. God, that you provide that job, Father. I pray, God, for every need that's represented in this building tonight. God, that you would just touch it. And God, make a way where there seems to be no way. Father, we ask it all tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Let's sing this chorus tonight. God still moves. God still moves in the hearts of people. God still moves. He does not sleep. Nor does he slumber. God still moves. God still 
How many knows tonight he's not dead? He's God not asleep. God still moves in the hearts of his people. God still moves. He does not sleep, nor does he slumber. God still moves. God still moves. Receive the evening offering and tithes. If you have to give tonight, give as unto the Lord. Brother Mike Spoley, would you pray over the offering tonight? I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. I'll never forget, no, never. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me I'll never forget, no, never He's done so much for me I cannot tell it all I cannot tell it all I cannot tell it all He's done so much for me I cannot tell it all He has taken all my sins away He's done so much for me I cannot tell it all I cannot tell it all I cannot tell it all. He's done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. He has taken all my sins away. I get joy when I think about what He's done for me. I get joy when I think about what He's done for me. I get joy when I think about what He's done for me. Oh, what the Lord has done for me. I get joy when I think about what He's done for me. I get joy when I think about what He's done for me. I get joy when I think about what He's done for me. Oh, what the Lord has done for me. Because Jesus, I'll never forget what You've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how You set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how You brought 
let me out. I'll never forget the music. Say that again, church. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. I'll never forget, no, never. Jesus, I'll never forget. Give God a hand clap tonight, church. Um, Y'all wouldn't mind staying up here. Sorry. (laughs) Amen, amen. Typically, we'll have a special before Pastor brings the message, but tonight we just have a congregational song before he brings the message, and that song is, There'll Be Peace in the Valley for Me. Let's worship tonight, church, as we sing this song. And amen. I am tired and weary, but I must toil on till the Lord comes to call me away. Where the morning is bright and the Lamb is the light. And the night is as fair as the day. There'll be peace in the valley. There'll be peace in the valley for me someday. There'll be peace in the valley for me. Lord, I pray no more sorrow and sadness or trouble will be. There'll be peace in the valley for me. My, my, my. There the flowers will be blooming. The grass will be green. And the skies will be clear and serene. The sun ever shines, giving one endless beam. And no clouds there will ever be seen. There'll be peace in the valley for me someday. There'll be peace in the valley for me, I pray. No more sorrows and sadness or struggles will be. There'll be peace in the valley for me. No headaches or heartaches or misunderstands. No confusion or trouble won't be. No frowns to defile. Just a big endless smile. There'll be peace and contentment. For me, there'll be peace in the valley. There'll be peace in the valley for me someday. There'll be peace in the valley for me. I pray no more sorrows or sadness or struggles will be. There'll be peace in the valley. Stand with us as we sing this chorus again. There'll be peace in the valley for me someday. There'll be peace 
in the valley for me. I pray no more sorrows and sadness or trouble will be. There'll be peace in the valley. No more sorrows. No more sorrows and sadness or trouble will be. There'll be peace in the valley for me. Amen. Give God a hand clap of praise tonight for that perfect peace. Peace in the valley. Praise the Lord. Amen. How many is looking forward to that day? Amen. No more stabbings. Thank no more murders. Thank you. No more addictions. Thank you. Amen. A perfect land of peace. Oh, yeah. Amen. Thank if you have your Bibles tonight, I'd like you to turn to Ephesians chapter 3, and we're going to read verse number 20. Ephesians chapter 3, and verse number 20. Ephesians 3 and 20, if you found that, say amen. amen. Still hear some pages turning, so I'll wait just a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. Ephesians 3 and 20, if you don't have your Bibles, it'll be on the screen. It says, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think, according to the power of that worketh in us. Tonight I want to preach on the thought, Our God is more than enough. Our God is more than enough. Amen. Help me pray. Father, I thank you tonight. God, for this privilege, this opportunity, Lord, to stand and declare the truth of your word. Father, I pray, God, tonight, God, that you'd anoint me. And God, help me, God, to bring forth your word under the unction of the Holy Ghost, Father. Help me to decrease. Lord, that you might increase, Father. Help me to say exactly what you once said and not what I want to say. Father, help me to be your microphone. God, that I could say to your people what you would have them to hear. But God, as I speak, God, anoint my words. Anoint my mouth. Anoint my head. Anoint my feet, God. Anoint me and use me tonight, God, to deliver the word unto your people. Father, I pray it all in the name of Jesus. Everybody say amen tonight. Amen. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. How many knows tonight that's the God that we serve? Amen. We don't serve a yesterday God. We don't serve a God that has no power. Amen. We don't serve a God that is, un, that is limited in His abilities. Amen. But we serve a God that has exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think. Amen. Amen. But tonight, we need to know that our God has all power and all abilities. Amen. So many times we think of God as being a man. Amen. And we put limits on God. But how many knows tonight God is not a man? Amen. God is the creator of everything. Amen. He is God Almighty. And He has exceedingly, abundantly more power than we can even imagine and think tonight. He said, let there be light, and there was light. He spoke into existent things, and things become what it was. Hallelujah, that's who we serve. Amen. There's so many times we put limits on God. We think God can't do it because we can't figure out how to do it. 
we think God can't do it because we think we don't have the abilities to do it. Amen. But we need to understand tonight, amen, we serve a God that can do exceedingly, abundantly, even more than I can even imagine and think tonight. Amen. When I try to figure it out, when I try to understand it, and I try to put it in a rational thinking, amen, my thinking and my rationalities, amen, don't even compare to where God can begin. Amen. But so many times we put God in a little box and think he can only do this and he can only do that but how many knows he's unlimited in his power tonight amen see it's easy to believe God when you're in his presence it's easy to believe God can do anything amen when you're in the house of God and you feel the Holy Ghost and you feel the chill bumps and you feel the Shekinah glory of God filling the house and everything seems to be going dandy and grand and you feel God's presence. Amen. But it's when you go into the valley. Amen. When it seems like all hell's coming against you. Where it seems like every way you turn. Amen. There's a wall. Amen. We need to know in that time and in that moment when we turn and we don't know where to go that God is still in control and God still has power. Amen. To bring us through. Amen. Bad things do happen to good people, but we need to know even in the midst of bad times, amen, God can do exceedingly, abundantly more than I can imagine and think tonight. Amen. The Bible says, Now unto him that is able. Do you believe he's able to do what you need him to do? Hmm? He's more than able tonight. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly all that we ask. Everything that you ask for tonight, amen, God is able to do what you ask Him to do. Amen. Do you believe that tonight? Do you believe tonight what you just prayed for and you just believe God for, that you just raised your hand for? Amen. God is able to do what you ask Him to do. Because if you don't, then don't ask Him. You may say, well, they said this, and they said that, and the doctor said this, and the lawyer said that, and the, and the, and the, and the physician said this, amen, but God said this, amen. We need to know no matter what people say, no matter what man says, God is still able. God is still able. God is still able. Hallelujah. He's not dead tonight. He's not asleep. He's alive forevermore, Brother Mike. He's doing good things tonight. He's doing things that are exceedingly, abundantly more than we can even imagine and think. Amen. So many times we just put limits on God. Huh? We think He can't do it because we don't think it can happen. How many knows we ought to believe God for things we think can't happen? Amen. How many knows he was there for Daniel in the lion's den? Uh, how many knows tonight it looked like a hopeless situation? Amen. Daniel thrown into a den of hungry lions. Amen. But his God, he knew the God that he served. The God that he prayed to was more than enough. And we know that God showed up in the den of lions and he shut those lions' mouth. And how many knows tonight he's the same God that was in the lions' den tonight? Amen. And God can still shut the roar of that lion. And how many knows who that lion is? And that's the old devil. Amen. The Bible says he's seeking whom he may devour. He's like that roaring lion. Everybody ever heard his voice? Seems like he just keeps roaring and roaring. But how many knows tonight God can shut his mouth? Huh? God can shut his mouth tonight. Amen. God is able. He was there for Daniel in the lion's den. We know God was there, amen, to, to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego as they were thrown into the fiery furnace. Amen. God didn't stand back and say, oh, what am I going to do? Amen. But no, the Bible says Jesus showed up in the midst of the fiery furnace. Amen. And they walked around in the midst of the fire. Amen. Giving God praise when they should have burned up, when they should have been engulfed in the flames. Amen. The Bible says the men that throwed them 
men in the fire, amen, fell down to the ground and were killed. Amen. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego should have been destroyed. Amen. But the God that they served showed up in the midst of the fire and they were able to walk around loosed in the midst of that fire, giving God the praise that He deserves. Tell me God's not able. I'll tell you, God is able. Amen. Hallelujah. When we're faced with trouble, when we're faced with problems, because they will come, we need to know tonight God is still able. Amen. No matter how big the problem, no matter how big the lion, no matter how big the fire, amen, no matter how big the problem, no matter how big the test, God is still able, amen, God is still able tonight, amen, God hasn't lost any power or authority today, He's still able to do whatever it is you need Him to do, amen. amen. I looked up what the word exceeding means, it means to be greater as in quantity, to surpass others, to excel or to be superior. Amen. So many times we put more faith in man and we fail to put our faith in a God that is more than enough. Amen. The God that we serve tonight, Sister Connie, He's more than enough. Amen. The God that I serve, Brother Nate, He's more than enough tonight. He has exceeding abundance in Him. Amen. God has plenty tonight. And God has what you need tonight. And we need to know in our hearts and know in our minds, amen, when man's abilities seem limited to us and we don't know which way to turn, we need to turn to God and His exceeding abundance tonight. Amen. God has exceedingly, amen, abundantly, Amen. More than we can even ask and think tonight. Hallelujah. He's greater in quantity and He surpasses others. He excels above all other gods. There's so many different gods today, but there's only one God. There's only one true and living God. That's the God that we serve tonight. Amen. He is a greater in quantity than we can even comprehend tonight. Amen. God has what you need tonight. And God can fix that which is broken tonight. Amen. If we'll keep our faith and our trust in Him. Amen. And quit putting our faith and trust in man. Amen. God can do exceeding things. Things that we can't even think in our minds can happen. Amen. We can see them happen tonight. I challenge you tonight to pray for things above your limits. Pray for things above your limits. Pray for things, amen, that you don't know how they're going to happen. Pray for things that you can't see how they're going to come to pass. Pray for a healing if you need a healing. And pray and expect it tonight. Amen, because God is still a healer. God's still a deliverer. God's still a saver of the soul. You got loved ones that are lost, dying, and going to hell. Amen. Pray and expect God to save their souls. Amen. They're not too lost that God can't still reach them tonight. Amen. Pray for things above your limits. Amen. Because we serve an unlimited God tonight. I looked up what the word abundantly means. It means present in great quantity. More than adequate, over sufficient, well supplied with some with, with something ri or he's richly supplied with resources, present in great quantity. Amen. More than adequate. Amen. We're talking about my God and your God. Amen. He's more than adequate. He's more than adequate tonight. He's just not a God. He's the God. Amen. He's more than just ordinary. Amen. He is extraordinary. He has supernatural powers and abilities tonight. Amen. He's greater than Superman. He's greater than Spider-Man. Amen. He's greater than any ever superhero that the TV could ever come up with. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is present. He does not leave in the sign of your trouble. Amen. How many's had friends that left when you needed them? How many's had family members leave when you needed them? 
God will never leave, nor will He forsake. If we'll hold fast to Him, He said He'd hold fast to us. Amen. He's present. He's right there. He's there when you need Him. He's there when you don't need Him. He's there all the time, every day, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Amen. He's more than enough. He's more than enough. I'm reminded of the men when the, when, when the time in the Bible when they needed some food. You all know the story about how Jesus was ministering the Word and a great multitude came by and they came to hear the Word of God. Amen. But then the day began to progress on and it got late in the day and they had no food. We all know the story. If God took the five loaves and the, is it three fishes, two fishes, two fishes and five loaves. And the Bible says when they got done, there were twelve baskets of fragments. Tell me God ain't more than enough. Hallelujah. Five loaves, two fishes, and twelve baskets of fragments. Amen. When you take what you got and you give it to God, God can bless it and God can multiply it and God can take it and do great and extraordinary things with just simple old little old things like us. Amen. Just a little boy's lunch was more than enough for a great multitude. I believe tonight the Bible says, My God shall supply all of my needs according to His riches and glory. We need to know tonight the God that we serve, amen, has more than what we need, and He's able to supply all of our needs tonight. You got a financial need tonight, God is able to supply your need. You got a spiritual need tonight, amen, God is able to supply your need. You got a marital problem tonight, God is able to supply your need. You got a, a problem in your vehicle tonight, amen, God's able to help you fix your vehicle tonight. I've heard stories, amen, not stories, but truth of how people, amen, went out and laid hands on their car. It wouldn't start. They laid hands on it, and that car began to crank over and start. I've heard stories is told about how people didn't have no money to get gas and they drove 500 miles on an empty tank. Amen. Why? Because they believed in a God that was more than enough and God supplied that need that they had. And I believe if He did it for somebody yesterday, amen, God can do it for us today, amen. If we'll learn to believe, amen, that He is more than enough. More than enough. So whatever you can imagine in your mind tonight, God's bigger than that. God has more than that tonight. Amen. He's exceedingly, abundantly more than we can even imagine and think tonight. Our God is more than enough. Quit putting limits on your God tonight and start believing God for extraordinary things. Amen. I believe tonight God still wants to raise up the sick. Amen. Amongst us tonight. I believe God still wants to break the chains of addiction tonight. I believe tonight God still wants to deliver those that are bound by the chains of sin and oppression tonight. I believe tonight God wants to lose strongholds of depression and discouragement tonight. I believe tonight God wants to cast out doubt and fear. Amen. But we got to believe and we got to know that God is able tonight. Are you with me? Do you believe God is more than enough? Amen. I'm going to do what the Lord's laid on my heart to do. I'm going to ask the singers, musicians, come, and I'm going to ask everybody to stand. This is what I feel in my spirit I need to do. This is what I feel like God's laid on my heart. Excuse me. You got a need tonight that's bigger than you. I want you to come stand across the front. You got a problem in your life that seems like it's overtaking you, overwhelming you. I want you to come and stand tonight and believe God can do what you need Him to do tonight. Come on, somebody else. Oh, hallelujah. You got things in your finances you don't know how they're going to work out. Come on, stand across the front. We're going to believe God to do some extraordinary things. Make a line across the front tonight. Hallelujah. Come on. If you got something in your life that seems like it needs a, a miracle tonight, you need a miracle from God, come stand across the front. You need God to do a miracle on your behalf tonight. Come stand across the front. You need God to do something extraordinary 
in your spiritual life. Come stand across the front tonight. You need God to just do a miracle in your home tonight. Come stand across the front. Expect God to do something out of the ordinary in your life tonight. Amen. Those of you that are still standing, I want you to come stand behind somebody up here. I want you to help me pray. We're going to lay hands and we're going to pray. And we're going to believe God to do some extraordinary things around here. Because we serve a God that is more than enough tonight. Come on, find somebody. Get behind them. Put your hands on them. And let's begin to pray and believe God tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Do you believe tonight? Do you believe tonight? Do you believe God can do what you're asking Him to do tonight? Do you believe it? Hallelujah. When you lift your hands, you're saying, God, I give it to you because I believe you're able to do what I ask. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. All things are possible. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. All things are possible. Lord, I believe. Lord, I receive. Lord, I receive. All things are possible. Lord, I receive. Lord, I receive. Lord. Lord, I receive. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. All things are possible. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Jesus. Is here. All things are possible. Jesus is here. Only believe. Only believe. All things are possible. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. Jesus, my Lord. He is the mighty King, Master of everything. His name is wonderful. mighty God we serve. Do you believe tonight we serve mighty God? We serve almighty God tonight. Let's all stand and sing this tonight.
What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adores Him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adores Him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty Tell somebody by faith. My God is more than enough. More than enough. More than enough. Hallelujah. My God is more than enough. Hallelujah. Go ahead and give him a hand clap of praise. More than enough. Amen. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you honor and glory and praise. Hallelujah. The creator of everything is our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him praise in this house. Oh, we magnify the name of Jesus. We lift up the name of Jesus. We give glory and honor to the King. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we sing that chorus and reach out and touch the Lord? He's here tonight. Let's reach out and touch Him before we go home. Let's thank Him for what He's done. Hallelujah. Reach out and touch the Lord. 
passes by. You will find he's not too busy to hear your heart's cry. He's passing by this moment your needs to supply. Reach out and touch the Lord as he goes by. Reach out. Come on, touch him tonight. He's here. He's moving from pew to pew and breast to breast. Let's touch him tonight. Let's honor him. Thank you tonight. He's not too busy to hear your heart's cry. He is passing by this moment. Your needs to supply. Reach out and touch the Lord as He goes by. Reach out and touch the Lord as He passes by. Come on, get a hold of Him. Grab on to Him. He's not touch Him. Get a hold of Him. See, he passes by your way. Get what you need tonight. By this moment, your needs to supply. Reach out and touch the Lord as he He's still passing by. Sing it again tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Reach out and touch the Lord as he passes by. You will find he's not too busy. This moment, your needs to supply. Reach out and touch the Lord as He goes by. Let's give Him a hand of praise tonight. Come on. Lord, we thank You tonight for being in our midst. We thank You, Lord, for passing by. We thank You, God, for being more than enough tonight. Come on. Give Him a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah! Let us never take for granted this time that we have to be in the presence of Almighty God. Amen? Let us not get in a hurry. Amen? To run out of His presence. Amen? Let's get a hold of Him and hold on to Him. Amen? As He passes by your way tonight. He has what you need tonight. Praise God. Appreciate you being here tonight. Amen. Sister Melanie, will you dismiss us in prayer?